So we assume that you, um, you know, have a mutual interest in, in being acquired. So what reasons um, do you have for being acquired? Like what, what are you looking to get out of the deal essentially? So I guess first one is uh, talking about how much you'd like to be acquired for, uh, the dollar amount. Um, so we're thinking we'd like to acquire you for about $900,000. Um, how does that sound? For You know, our feeling is that you know we're looking at a range between 900 and 1.3. Right. And you know, our, our feeling is that 900 is basically the value of the equipment, the breakup value of what we have in the office. And the difference between that and the 1.3 is our goodwill, what we've built up over 15 years. Right. So, and we value that. We, we've worked very hard for that. And. Um, you know, we'd, we'd really like to get that as close to 1.3 as we can. So you want the Allegheny office, right? Okay. Yeah, if if we were to give you that one, um, you give us something else. I mean, down the road. Great, let's do that. I know it can be hard for a private practice as well to kind of maintain. Um, certain standards set by policies, kind of navigating the waters of, of policy as it changes constantly throughout healthcare. Um, and we see that as an opportunity for you to kind of attach yourself to a larger system, whereas we have, you know, paid staff who, who constantly navigate those waters for us. Um, and being attached with us, that'll, uh, you know, in turn allow you to be able to navigate those waters much more efficiently. Um, so we see that as, a, as a, a beneficial thing for you as well, to come on board with us. So what I thought we would do is I thought we would tie the uh, contract duration and the no compete clause together. Um, you know, if, if I guess my feeling is if we have a you know five year contract, um, you know, we could go with a two year uh, no compete clause. Um, if we're looking at a three year contract, um, you know. We don't want to be out of the game. Um.